Here's a quick video on how to change a head gasket on a piston air compressor. You'll need some cleaning solvent, a clean shop towel, the replacement head gasket, a 6mm Allen head socket on a quarter inch ratchet drive, alternatively just use a 6mm Allen key, a gasket scraper, a Phillips head screwdriver and an adjustable spanner. We'll start the process by removing the air filter using the 6mm hex head ratchet drive. There are two bolts holding on the air filter. The next step is to remove the cylinder head cover by undoing the two Phillips head screws. With your adjustable spanner, undo the top nut on the main charge pipe. We can now remove the six cylinder head bolts. Use your six millimeter Allen head socket and just crack open each bolt as shown. Once the tension has been released on all six of the bolts, you can undo all of them completely. Before removing the cylinder head, make sure to understand where the head gasket's located. It's right here where I'm pointing. You need to separate the head from the valve plates shown here without disturbing the bottom gasket and the two steel valve plates. So make sure to separate in this location. Using the gasket scraper, you can remove the old gasket. Make sure not to damage the soft aluminium surfaces of the cylinder head. Any remaining bits of head gasket need to be scraped away with the gasket scraper or equivalent blade. Make sure not to damage the surfaces. Using a shop towel and a suitable solvent, clean the surface of the cylinder head. Repeat the same cleaning process for the top valve plate. The replacement head gasket can now be laid on top of the valve plate. The cylinder head can now be put into position, making sure to align the elbow with the charge pipe. Take your time at this point and make sure all the holes are aligned properly with the cylinder head and the gasket. If you find the charge pipe is preventing the cylinder head from sitting flat, you can undo the bottom of the charge pipe where it meets the tank. Reinstall the six cylinder head bolts. Once you've driven all the bolts down by hand, you can tighten them using the six millimeter Allen head ratchet. Start in the center and work your way towards the outside as shown. The bolts should be tight, but not over tightened. If using a torque wrench, you can torque them to 26 Newton meters. The cylinder head bolts need to be rechecked for tightness after the compressor has been run for at least an hour. The air filter can now be refitted and the top charge pipe nut needs to be retightened. If you want to maintain cooler head temperatures, you can leave the plastic cover off. Always run the air compressor at least 12 to 18 inches away from any walls and don't install your compressor underneath a workbench or in a cupboard. This can dangerously elevate the head temperatures, causing premature failure.